The U.S. Marshals spend weeks, months, and even years gathering intelligence about where these criminals are located. They say some tips can lead to an arrest, while others can just be dead ends. This morning's mission took us out to the Mount Vernon area. The marshals say the earlier the mission, the better. They are hoping to find two murder suspects. They believe they're hiding out in this wooded area. The marshals knock on the doors and a woman lets them in. They begin to search the home and question the woman. After about 30 minutes, they find nothing and say they believe the suspects have already left. Our second stop is in West Columbus on Adelbert Drive. The second suspect is wanted for violating parole on a narcotics crime. The marshals strategically station themselves around the neighborhood, and when they see the suspect's car drive by, they spring into action. The suspect was taken into custody without incident. This is the kind of work the U.S. Marshals are doing every day. It's a process. We start identifying they have an active arrest warrant, making sure that we do the complete workup on them, making sure it's all you know clear in the court, and then we start watching, and then we grab a, a team and do it as safely as possible, brief up prior, and then we execute the arrest warrant. The Southern Ohio Fugitive Apprehension Strike Team is made up of multiple jurisdictions, including the U.S. Marshals, Ohio State Highway Patrol, and local police departments.